So all of my bags are from Restrap. Uh, they've kindly hooked us up with these awesome looking bags, very stealthy, and I got on really great with them. So I'm going to start at the back at the saddle pack. Um, this is their 8 litre version with the 8 litre dry bag. And yeah, it attaches really well, hardly, a, hardly uh, any sway, which for riding off-road is, is super important. So in the rear of the bike, I was carrying all the things that I would need when I stop. Uh, so that is a down jacket, so yeah, just warmth and emergency as well. Uh, my bivy, which is from Alpkit, that's the sleeping system really, uh, Alpkit um, sleeping mat, and also my sleeping bag, which is, I think, three seasons. I've yet to be cold in this bag, and I've bothied um, in it. In, in winter in Scotland. Uh, I've camped through summer, through spring and everything. So yeah, great, great bag. And for this trip, I didn't need to sleep outside, which was amazing, but I was pretty prepared for a cold night, even though it is summer in Scotland. So that's the rear of the bike done. Uh, next, I'm gonna show you what's in the frame bag. So there's a big mix of stuff in here. Uh, first of all, there's this which is a butterscotch cake that I didn't need to eat, but I had just in case. Um, yeah, lots of calories, obviously. Uh, and I've got some waterproof trousers, really small, really light, just in case of emergency. That would mean I would have full body cover, and um, yeah, it's better to be safe than sorry. Then I've got a spare wahoo. Uh, this is the bolt, uh, and that's just my backup navigation basically. So if I have any issues with the with my main unit, then this has got the route loaded, and I can use the GPX and the maps and stuff. Then uh, a head torch, so this can go around my helmet, and that's basically with my uh, backup for riding in the dark or or around camp as well. So um, that's a really good head torch. Then this little Ziploc bag which has a load of GoPro batteries, a spare um, shifter battery for the rear for my axis. These have like quite a lot of runtime, so I wasn't too worried, but it's always better to have it. Uh, and then I had about eight GoPro batteries, I used about half of them, and also I've got a memory card in there. Um, just for filming the trip. Then I've got this little power bar um, pouch with some sun cream, which I didn't need because it's Scotland, it's summer. Um, some toothpaste. This is basically just my top toiletries. Well, that's not a toiletry, that's a multi tool. Um, and my toothbrush, which is sewn in half to fit in there. And some, some lip balm, just if I've got any rough spots. Then a little rag, which I use just to get the excess off my chain. And also uh, a little anchor wall plug. Um, so if I did stop anywhere, I could recharge. So that's everything in this side. Now I'm going to show you what's in the other side, which I've kind of forgotten. Got some water purification tablets. Didn't need them because... I always had access to really clean water and I could stop it. There are a few shops on route, but I think in, in other countries it's good to have them just in a pinch if you need water. Uh, yeah, just good to have. They don't weigh much. Um, a little ugly case to clean the camera with. A uh, spare Ziploc bag just for my phones really if it was really starting to rain. A little cable lock, which is great for shops. I did use this in Creef because it was just a bit busier and I just wanted that little bit of security while I was in the shops. Um, a power bar caffeine gel. I used one and had another one. Uh, some restrap straps. Uh, they would have been useful if I needed to carry extra or fix something. Yeah, just a useful bit of kit just to have, and then also certain uh, antibacterial hand gel. Um, yeah, just hygiene. Right, 
Now onto the top tube bag. So this had kind of all my tech stuff in it. Uh, so I had this Anchor battery pack, which is 10,000 milliamp hour, and then this Monster, which is like I don't even know, 20,000. So I was pretty covered for power. Uh, part of the trip was that I was doing Instagram stories and social media and stuff, so I kind of went overboard on the power things. But I think that's that's. It's not a bad thing. Then just some cables, iPhone cable, um, cable for the wire, and some headphones. So next is the food pouch, which currently has a little bottle of chain lube and um, some power bar electrolyte tablets, uh, which I used a few of just to keep me topped off and if I was to use the um, chlorine tablets then it makes these taste a bit nicer. So yeah, but this was always stuffed with food basically, nuts, bars, chocolate bars, Snickers, same with this one as you saw, food as well. Uh, next up is the bar bag on this side of the little mesh thing, which is great. The great thing about these, these bar bags uh, was my midge net. Um, easy to get to, didn't have to use it because I didn't have to spend too much time hanging around, I kind of kept moving, that's always an incentive in Scotland in the summer is to keep moving, otherwise you'll get eaten alive by midges. In the other side, um, there's lots of rubbish <laughs> and some, just some surgical gloves really, um, good for if you've got like a serious mechanical and you want to keep your hands clean. Or the reason I brought them is is as another layer of warmth. So if it really got to worst conditions, I could put these on, and yeah, you're gonna get warm in them. Basically, it's just plastic. So little hack, I guess. Then in the final bag, yeah, in the front is all my spare clothing. So it was inside a dry bag, inside the bag just to be extra safe so this is basically stuff I want to keep really dry so in a little four litre restrap bag I had a pair of socks fresh socks uh, some lightweight running shorts just so I can get out of my chamois because I don't really want to be hanging around in a dirty chamois uh, some leg warmers, map leg warmers map gloves, just kind of fleecy ones um, and a long sleeve base layer from MAP, which is great, so I slept in this and I would have used that as another layer if I was to get cold. So that's pretty much um, all the bags. So I was running three bottles as you can see, but if I was to do it again I would only just run the two. This was hardly ever full of water. Um, I realised pretty quickly that I always had pretty good access to water, so I didn't really have to worry about that. Uh, and then in my SWAT storage uh, box, I've got some other spares. So the great thing about the SWAT storage system is you can make use of all this empty space in your frame. So in here I had cable ties, um, some batteries for my shifters if they were to really die on me. Two sets of brake pads, puncture repair kit, spare tube, spare derailleur hanger, uh, a CO2 canister, and some electrical tape. And I also got two tubes in there, so I had plenty of plenty of tools. Got a pump on the other side of this uh, block cage with some electrical tape around it as well. Uh, so that's pretty much me sorted. So yeah, the idea with my packing list was just to kind of cover all eventualities and and hopefully it would get me through a big one was the chain loop because the amount of water I was going through on the trip was just yeah constantly going through river crossings and and um and puddles so your drive chain just gets beaten up uh, but yeah on like the bike handled the terrain faultlessly so I can't complain but if if things were to go wrong then I think I would be pretty covered